This afternoon, shedding new light on possible health dangers of UV lights used in nail salons. A new report suggests that light used to harden gel coatings could be damaging your hands. KCAL News reporter Rena Nakano spoke with a doctor about the potential danger. Getting your nails done may be your only me time activity of the month, but a new study out of UC San Diego concludes using UV ray machines to cure gel nails causes cell death and DNA mutations. There, yes, can be an accumulated damage that can occur that could lead to cancer risk. Researchers found that using these machines for one 20 minute session killed 30% of human cells. It also caused DNA damage to the remaining cells with patterns seen in skin cancer patients. The FDA says these UV machines are generally safe for humans and are often used as germicides. But while using them in a hospital setting, protective clothing and eye protection is required. There's added precautions. But Dr. Edward S. Kim at City of Hope Orange County says this doesn't automatically lead to cancer. There are many factors to consider. First, how often do you get your nails done and how long is your skin exposed to the UV rays? The fewer times you go, the less risk. Second, check your personal risk of skin cancer. If you have Irish descent, you have a higher inherent risk of developing skin cancers or melanoma. Dr. Kim does say that there are preventative measures that you can take before inserting your hands into the light. They can go get their nails done, but bring some sunscreen with them and they can put that on their hands. The takeaway, the study suggests more research is needed to show the long term effects of UV nail machines. So in the meantime, Dr. Kim says enjoy your me time. Fair skin, Irish descent, family history gets burnt within 15 minutes of walking out in the sun. I would not discourage this person from having their nails done. They should be practicing good preventive care, no matter if they're in a nail salon or if they're out in the sun. In Irvine, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News.